I decided to make a little video showing uh, a little bit of a process about putting together skirt corners on a hovercraft. Uh, got a little table set up here. Got my uh, fabric cut to uh, half the length of the roll or half the width of the roll. Comes out to about 30 and 3 quarter inches. Um, made a couple of plywood templates for the corners. I have this corner here. This is, uh, this is for the front of a pointed hovercraft. Uh, it's got a little bit of a different shape to it. So I cut out the paper and then I transferred that onto the plywood. Now this obviously I can hang around, uh, hang on to for quite some time. Don't have to worry about losing it or getting it all wrinkled up or something. And uh, I'm just going to set this on my fabric and get it uh, get it positioned. Get everything lined up. And what I need to do now is uh, on the lap method, you add one inch to each section of skirt that you cut out because the lap on each corner is a half an inch. And the reason it's so small is because if you try to gather much more than a half inch material at a joint like this, then you're going to have a lot of problems. So um, a half inch works and that's what we're going to go with. So I'm going to use the same template that I used before, lay it out on the corner, get it lined up, find where I put my ruler, there we go, and uh, just going to measure this, get it at a half inch. Now that I got that measured out, take my paint pen again and draw another line on here. And that'll be our reference line when we're gluing the corner. So when it comes to this lap method, what you got here is you have your piece with the half inch mark on it, okay? Now these two pieces are sitting together like this, okay? Obviously they're not going to want to go together that easy. But what you do is you put your glue down, just working a little bit at a time, glue your edges, this one I don't have marked, glue your edges, and then you would lap these two here like this. Now this is obviously going to be easier at the beginning here than it will be as we work down. Well there's a the, uh, picture of the T like I assume was uh, talked about. Uh, keep in mind this is my first time doing this method also, so uh, going to be a little bit of trial and error involved, but I'm sure it'll all work out. Okay. So, let's get some of this stuff cleaned up. This is the HH66 cement. Let that dry a little bit. For 
starting, I don't think we're going to need that. I can definitely see where this would help to keep that fabric draped down at a 90. socket in my pocket here and I can put that on there and I can roll that, that seam and make sure it's bonded real well. I can definitely see uh, here you're, you're only going to definitely want to glue a couple inches at a time probably. Unless you're pretty confident warm. piece back again. Put a little more of a glue on. So far this is going pretty good. I think I'm getting to the to the not so fun part though. As the uh, radius starts to tighten up it's going to be a lot harder to make it wrap. getting some small buckles in here and I think they're pretty much on the inside and I'm gonna go over them here with this roll with this socket and I'm gonna see if I can just smooth those right out pretty good so far. It's got a nice uh, nice curve going there. As you can see, just keep it right. You know, it pulls away from the line a little bit there, but uh, just keep following that half inch line all the way around. And I'm going to start working on this section down here. I tell you what, this is a really nice looking, nice looking seam right here compared to 
compared to what I had on my old hovercraft, I can definitely see where this is not going to wear anywhere near as bad. All right, that's what your corners are going to look like when they're done. They're uh, really, really nice, really nice and smooth. It doesn't look like there's going to be really too many high spots. Um, something to keep in mind, this area, obviously up here, is where it's going to attach onto the upper skirt rail. Down here, this is cut short, but down here it's where it's going to hook to your bottom. Uh, right around in, well I'd say right about in this area is your contact line where your skirt's going to most often hit the ground. Now there is where I would want to make sure that it's really as smooth as possible on the transition because any little bumps that's going to wear that's going to wear through. So, all right, that uh, that wraps up this. Point out a couple of. things you need to be aware of when you're seaming them, seaming the corners. Now on a pointed craft like this on the front it really doesn't matter which way you uh, lap it. Now if it was a square nose craft you'd have to make sure that on the front piece the laps wrap around the front edges because you wouldn't want to have this you wouldn't want to have this seam right here catching on the front. Now, that being said, when you go to the back, you want this back corner to lap this way. So, as the craft is moving forward, it can't catch on that seam on the bottom. So, yeah, I just got the uh, the outer attached, just just tacked on in a couple of spots here. But man, I'm I'm really happy with how these corners turned out. They just uh, just worked out really well. So.